So in this video, we are going to talk about composite functions. A composite function is generally a function that is written inside another function. So let's say we have a function f of x, which is equal to 2x squared plus 1. And then g of x, which is equal to x plus 1. How do we find f of g? f of g is a composite function, which simply means g is inside of f and is equivalent to f into bracket g of x. To find f of g of x, we simply need to replace g of x with x plus 1. So it's going to be f into bracket x plus 1. Since x plus 1 is inside f, we are going to replace x with x plus 1. So it's going to be 2 into bracket x plus 1 all squared plus 1. x plus 1 all squared is equal to x plus 1 x plus 1. Now x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. 1 times x is x. And then 1 times 1 is 1. We have x squared plus x plus x is 2x plus 1 plus 1. So we are going to distribute the 2 across. Now 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 2x is 4x. And then 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have f of g to be equal to 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. Notice that f of g is not equal to f dot j, which is equal to f times j. Now f dot j is equal to f is 2x squared plus 1, and then g is x plus 1. Now let's multiply. We have 2x squared times x is 2x cubed, and then 2x squared times 1 is 2x squared. 1 times x is x, and then 1 times 1 is 1. So f dot g is equal to 2x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 1, which is not equal to f of g. Let's solve some more examples. Given a function f of x, which is equal to 1 minus 4x squared, and g of x, which is equal to 1 minus x. Let's find g of f. So this time, f is inside of g. So it's equivalent to g into bracket f of x. So we are going to replace f of x with 1 minus 4x squared. So it's going to be j into bracket 1 minus 4x squared. Now, because we have 1 minus 4x squared inside g, then we are going to replace x with 1 minus 4x squared. So it's going to be 1 minus 1 minus 4x squared. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And then negative 1 times negative 4x squared is plus 4x squared. 1 minus 1 is 0. So g of f is 4x squared. Given a function f of x is equal to 2x and g of x is equal to x squared plus 4. How do we find f of g of 2? Now let's first find g of 2 g of 2 is equal to 2 squared plus 4. 2 squared is equal to 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So g of 2 is equal to 8. So now this has been reduced to f of 8. So to find f of 8, we simply need to replace x with 8. So f of 8 is going to be 2 into bracket 8. And then 2 times 8 is 16. So f of g of 2 is equal to 
16. Let's try this together. Given a function f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 and then g of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Let's find f of g and then g of f. So to find f of g, f of g is simply f into bracket g of x. Now g of x is equal to 3x plus 2. So we have 3x plus 2. Now we are going to replace x with 3x plus 2. So we have 3x plus 2 squared minus 1. Now 3x plus 2 all squared is equal to 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 minus 1. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times 2 is 6x. 2 times 3x is 6x. And then 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1. So we have 9x squared plus 6x plus 6x is 12x. And then 4 minus 1 is 3. So this is f of g. Now let's find g of f. g of f is equal to g into bracket f of x. And then it's equal to f of x is x squared minus 1. And then g is 3x plus 2. So we have 3 into bracket x squared minus 1 plus 2. Now 3 times x squared is 3x squared. And then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 2, which is equal to 3x squared minus 1. So it is clear that f of g is not equal to g of f, which means that f of g and g of f are not commutative. So that's it for today's video. If you like the content of this video, feel free to like, comment and share among friends. Don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.